The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Lee Neagle. I am the editor here at the Web Host Industry Review, and I would like to welcome you all to another one of our WER webinars. Uh, today's session is called Best Practices for... Uh, excuse me. Best Practices for Hosting Business Class Websites. And it's uh, going to feature a presentation from Lowell Anderson, who is Director of Product Marketing for IAS at Parallels. Um, I'm going to uh, let Lowell introduce himself properly in a, uh, uh, excuse me, in, in just a minute, but uh, first I'm going to give him the controls here. Uh, before he go, uh, before he takes, takes us away, I'm going to take care of a couple of housekeeping items. Uh, first of all, uh, questions. We're going to save a few minutes at the end of the session for your questions. However, you can feel free to uh, submit them through the throughout the session using the webinar function uh, for submitting questions. Uh, I will be keeping an eye on those throughout the presentation, but as far as actually putting the questions to Lowell, uh, we're going to leave that until the end. If you do ask a question and it doesn't get answered uh, because we run out of time or maybe it's a bit too specific, uh, rest assured that we will have a record of all the questions uh, and who asked them and somebody will reach out to you via email following the webinar. Um, or if you have a question you'd rather ask outside of a public forum like this, there will be some contact info on screen later during the Q&A period, so you can definitely reach out uh, personally and, and privately that way. Uh, as always, there will be a video archive of the webinar available uh, as of probably by the end of this week. Uh, if you want to revisit a slide or part of the presentation uh, or share it with somebody, it'll, it'll be a video with audio and uh, slides. Uh, and it'll be in the archives at thewordcom slash webinars. And it'll be there alongside a lot of other great past webinars, including, uh, you know, some others from Parallels and uh, some that <laughs> feature LOL, um, or at least one that features LOL. Anyway, now without uh, further ado, I will get things started by turning it over to LOL. LOL, do you want to introduce yourself? Okay. Thanks, Liam. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Uh, my name is Lowell Anderson. I'm Director of Product Marketing at Parallels. And Parallels is the, the worldwide leader in delivering hosting and cloud enablement solutions for hosters, and today we're going to focus on one of our products called Parallels Web Presence Builder. Today I'm going to uh, give you a brief introduction to Parallels Web Presence Builder through a slide presentation, and then I will give you a quick demo of the product live, and then we'll show you some of the hosters that are using it today and examples of some of the best practices that they are deploying or implementing to uh, really help improve their ability to acquire and retain customers using Parallels Web Presence Builder. Parallels Web Presence Builder is the fastest and easiest way for small businesses to create professional looking websites. It's also designed to enable small and mid-sized hosters to compete with big hosters and help you differentiate your services and in doing so improve ARPU and reduce churn by providing an easy to use website builder tool as part of your shared hosting services. This tool is really designed with a small business or novice user in mind who want to establish an online presence very quickly and very cost effectively. It features over a hundred pre-built topics or pre-designed websites that include hundreds of photos and customized text that allows an SMB to set up a complete professional looking website in record time. It also has a set of drag and drop modules that allow you to easily customize the website content, to integrate it with Facebook, and let visitors share content on popular social networks like Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn. Parallels Web Presence Builder is ideal for hosters because it's designed to be monetized and it's available as an add-on to many of your existing solutions. It's fully integrated into Parallels Plus Panel, and it's available as a very simple 10-site start, startup license in our Power Pack, and easy to upgrade to either a 100 or 1,000-site license per panel. It's also available with Parallels Automation, and just announced we now have a integration off the shelf with cPanel, which allows you to easily uh, integrate uh, right off the shelf with your cPanel uh, services and allow Web Presence Builder to be launched directly from the customer cPanel screen. And these, uh, these different license configurations start with as little as 100 sites, so you can really, uh, it's very cost effective to, as a hoster, to start using Web Presence Builder and offering it as part of your shared hosting platform. The key to Web Presence Builder is that it's designed to be easily easy to use. It's designed specifically for business and organizational websites, 
and doesn't require any complex scripting or coding. Everything's built with drag and drop modules, and editing the text in Web Presence Builder is really just as easy as writing an email or editing a Word document. One of the very unique capabilities of Web Presence Builder is it comes with these content complete lines, which we call topics. And those include text and images that are tailored to over 100 business and organizational types. These site designs aren't just populated with garbage text, so a lot of uh, off-the-shelf site builders will create a pre-populated site, but they'll fill it with just garbage text that then you need to have to, you, the, the user needs to go and fill in. Uh, with, with Web Presence Builder, that's not the case. And having these pre-built topics really increases the speed and reduces the time required to build a site. The topics that we have in Web Presence Builder are designed to help customers envision a, fission, envision a finished website quickly puts the customers right into edit mode instead of having to figure out what their page structure and what they want to talk about, and fills in relevant company details throughout the site in appropriate parts of their new website. And I've gotten comments from many hosters that have uh, tried to use WordPress as a, as a tool, which works quite well if you're an experienced web designer. But for people uh, that are SMBs that want to quickly put up a website, uh, WordPress has a lot of ways you can break your website, and Web Presence Builder is designed to really get you started. Although we do provide these topics out of the box, it's very easy to modify the design, the text, or the images to suit your preferences. These ready-to-publish site designs are complete. They include site structures and text and images. And lastly, all the modules that we have that allow you to easily link to popular social media sites. Having a fully featured site building tool is really becoming a requirement for S many SMBs when they're choosing a hoster. In order to compete in this market, Parallels Web Presence Builder provides hosters with a scalable, easy to deploy solution that helps them attract new customers and retain existing customers. It's the only solution today that's fully integrated with Plus Panel, Parallels Automation, and cPanel. And in addition, hosters have the option to brand Web Presence Builder with their own logos. And I'll show you some examples of that later in the site. Another very important feature of Web Presence Builder is what we call Try Before Buy that lets the hoster offer a free trial experience. So when a customer comes into, the, into your hosting site, uh, they can click the Try button and they can build a site with Parallels Web Presence Builder first. Then if they like the site and decide they want to sign up for a hosting plan, then Web Presence Builder allows them to automatically uh, move on to your hosting plan. So this really helps reduce the barrier to entry for new customers, but it also gets them invested in uh, putting content uh, into, into Web Presence Builder so that uh, they will have more of a, uh, more of a, a feeling of uh, being locked in as they uh, decide to sign up for your hosting service. As I discussed, Parallels Web Presence Builder comes with a quite a few different deployment options for hosters. The licensing pricing starts at as low as $9.99 a month, $9.99 US per month, and helps you scale. Uh, it can scale up to 50,000 sites per, per Web Presence Builder in our uh, standalone and cPanel versions. The next few slides I'll give you just a quick slideshow overview of what the product looks like and how it works. Uh, when you start Web Presence Builder, the first thing you see is the uh, screen that allows you to select the topics that are appropriate for your business. And then the next screen pops up a, a form that allows you to pre-fill your critical contact information. This is important because this contact information is then populated throughout the site in all the appropriate locations uh, when you create the site. So this saves a lot of time. It also uh, helps ensure that this contact information is properly populated when we create your customized site. Then if you create the site, you just click the Submit and Create button, and Parallels Web Presence Builder will create an initial site that has a page structure, appropriate banners, some introductory text, uh, search bar, and so on, uh, already implemented into the site itself. 
Parallels Web Presence Builder uses what's called a WYSIWYG editor. WYSIWYG means what you see is what you get. And it uses this WYSIWYG editor to make it very easy to edit the site and see the changes as you're making them. Once the initial site is created, you can go ahead and just publish it if you want, but most people want to edit it. So you bring up uh, this editor by simply hovering over any of the text boxes. And you can see that uh, it uses a very basic text editor similar to email or Word uh, that's as easy as using as any of those commonly used tools. And you have full flexibility with this to change fonts, headings, styles, and more. Uh, there's also a floating toolbar that allows you to access modules, change the layout, change the style, adjust the pages, uh, load documents to the site, and then adjust the settings as well. The Layout tab allows you to add or configure sidebars, so you can uh, change the different sidebar configurations and stretch and expand the sidebars. There's a Style tab, which allows you to change any of the colors of fonts, sidebars, backgrounds, and so on in the site. And you can in, uh, individually edit any of the text colors and font colors as well. There's also a, a tab for the, the fonts. And then there's a whole set of uh, borders that you can add. And we'll show you some of those when we get to the, to the actual demo. So a lot of ways for you to customize the style. And uh, again, there's, really, there's no programming here. You just click, point and adjust. And then this last page uh, screenshot shows you uh, how you can uh, adjust your page layout. So the adjusting and changing the site nav is as simple as simply uh, sliding these bars up and down. You can add a page, delete a page, rename a page, and so on. So very straightforward to do that. The modules tab that's in your pop-up uh, bar allows you, has a variety of modules that allow you to drag and drop onto your site pages to easily add additional text, images, video, image galleries, blogs, and so on. It also makes it very easy for you to set up an online store and add a shopping cart. We have special uh, social media widgets that you can simply drag and drop onto the site, and you can add those Facebook and Twitter links uh, and LinkedIn links by simply adding that module to any page or across your entire site. Very simple to do. There's a full set of external connections to a variety of social services and online media services like YouTube and Picasso. Again, those are all simple drag and drop modules onto the site and then you link to your videos uh, or, your, or your picture galleries that uh, might be saved up in those services. So very simple to uh, make those external connections. And, la and one of the other things that's uh, very popular is our Facebook integration. The idea behind this is it makes it very easy for you to construct a website and web presence builder for your internet site and then have that same design be published to your Facebook page so that both sites show the same information. And this way you don't have to manage two separate websites. You build it in Web Presence Builder. Uh, you pull up the module and go to settings. And you can see a simple screen that says add your site copy to Facebook. Uh, it'll confirm that. And then here we're showing a screenshot that shows uh, the same uh, site that was published on the internet now showing up uh, on your Facebook page. Using the same navigation structure, the content, of course, has to be restructured to fit into uh, the Facebook format. But the nice part about this, of course, is that it's, uh, it's all uh, as simple as creating the site once and then publishing it out to your Facebook page. Very popular feature. Another key for SMBs is the ability to create an online presence very quickly. And Web Presence Builder makes it very easy for businesses to get their online store up and running. We have a, a built-in integration to a service called Equid, which stands for e-commerce widget. And Equid is a, a separate company that uh, we have a, a relationship with and have built a, an integration with. Equid is a, uh, a company that allows you to go into their site and set up your account, uh, build your own uh, catalog of products and services, set prices to those, and then Equid manages all the back-end payments for that. 
then Web Presence Builder is, is linked to that through our online store shopping bag, which is also a, a simple, easy drag and drop module. So you can quickly build up your catalog of products, set the pricing, and have your store up and running really in just a few minutes using Equid. And lastly, uh, very important for many of our international customers is that Web Presence Builder is available in uh, 12 languages. We're adding uh, others all the time. The next ones coming up are going to be uh, Korean, which will come out in, an, in another month or so. But uh, both the user interface for Web Presence Builder as well as the site topics that are created uh, within that user interface are uh, available in 12 different languages today. So it's, it's highly internationalized. Okay, so enough of my talking. We will uh, try to show you very quickly a simple demo of Web Presence Builder. And I'll bring that up on my browser. And uh, expand that out for us here. Uh, looks like I got logged out, so I will log in as quickly. Okay, so... When your customers first uh, click on Web Presence Builder on your site, this is the screen they'll see. And you can see here is the list of topics that's available. As I said, there's over 100 of those. They're categorized by business for you here. So it makes it easy for customers to simply either jump to their business category fairly quickly or simply go here and type in a search. And so we're going to build a little store for a coffee shop. And this is the simple thing. I'm going to call this Coffee Heaven. How about that? And oops, let's make that a capital. You can edit all of this later on too if you don't uh, like it. And let's just go ahead and create the site. So as we're creating the site, this is really the sort of the longest process. It takes a few seconds depending on your connection here. And we'll see that Web Presence Builder has uh, created for me uh, a very, very simple coffee shop site. It's loaded in a appropriate banner image. It's put in a simple navigation. It talks a little bit. You can see it's filled in some information about products, uh, delivery, different articles, a contact us page with the information that I put in, and given us a basic site structure which is nice, but of course it's not very personalized. So what we can do then here is just show you how easy it is to go in and edit some of this content. So let's just start here by going in and editing this. Uh, what did I call it? Coffee Heaven. And uh, we'll put that in here. And that doesn't look very good because it's kind of a boring font, so let's highlight that. We'll turn it more into the, top, the high heading. Uh, it's kind of big, so let's reduce it a little bit. And so you can see it's quickly, it's basically as simple as just going in here, editing text. Now, if we want to add a new text bar or an image, we simply open up our little floating toolbar. This floats around on here, and we drag and drop any module. And you can see as I drag the module, it either covers here or here. Uh, let's go ahead and add this module in here. And I think I'll want to make that an image. So I want to show a picture of our shop. So I'll put a little title on it. And let's put the image in here. And it'll show a set of images which I happen to have on my machine here today. We'll click that. It'll upload it in, 
and we'll see fairly quickly that that image is a little too big to fit in there. So we'll go over here and it allows me in real time to adjust the size. Let's try 350, maintain the aspect ratio. How about a little bigger, maybe 375. That looks good. And we say, okay. And now we have a picture. Now let's say we want to put in some social links. So we simply grab that module, we drag it in, we can see there's many places it can hover. Let's put those right there underneath our image. And let's just use, you can see we have a, a, quite a few just simple off-the-shelf types. And let's just use this one here. You can edit these if you want as well. And now we have social links. And then lastly, let's uh, add a little bit more. Let's put a video on. So we take this, we simply drag it down. I want a video on my front page. So we're going to put it right there on the page. It comes up and asks me for a link. So I happen to have a link here in my, one of my Word documents. I'll copy that. And we'll paste it in here and hit OK. And if we get a good internet connection here, we'll see that we have a nice little video about coffee drinkers and the health of coffee. So it's that, that easy to simply go in here and make those very, very quick adjustments. The banner is fully configurable. You can click on the banner and look at the list of images available. If we wanted to change the banner, we can look at all of the banners available or a set of recommended banners for these coffee shops. And you might say, oh, I want a slightly different banner. OK. And I want my website name up there. And I want my slogan. OK. Looks like it's taking a few minutes to render my new banner. There it is. And we can always go in here, of course. And I would really like this to be much larger on my website, maybe bigger, probably even bigger. And we might want to take this. Now, and all of these can be moved around, so you can select any of these, move them around on your banner. Might want to change what Presence Builder has invented a little slogan for me as part of this. So very, a lot of nice features that make it very easy to get yourself up and running. A lot of small business might not even think about, oh, what's my slogan? At least this gives you a start. So very simple for you to go in here and uh, make very quick adjustments uh, to the website. Um, some other things, we look at the product page. Um, it looks kind of boring. Maybe we want to put an image gallery somewhere on here that shows a picture of my product. So let's go in here. Let's include the image gallery. And uh, let's click here. Let's see if I've got this working today. And it gives me, again, let's just pick a couple of my, here's a picture of an image, which we'll load in, and another one, let's load this one in, and another one, let's load this one in. And we hit OK, and then when you publish that site and someone clicks on your images, e it's very easy for them to simply look through your product images. And of course, if you have a product catalog, this is a great feature for you to simply drop a complete list of images for your, uh, for your website. So we'll take that back off. Okay, so very simple to do that. The last piece we want to play around with, which I'll show you, which is really fun to do, is to play with the design. So you may not like the colors of the site. In fact, this site's kind of somewhat boring. We can easily change the layout and the number of sidebars we have a whole set of color schemes. And we can see, uh, it looks like it automatically picked the one called Coffee Break. But let's say I wanted to try a different color scheme. And it would very quickly change our color scheme. And then, of course, for any of these color schemes, I can make adjustments. So maybe we want to go back to Coffee Break. That looked pretty cool. But I want to change my, uh, I don't really like the background. It seems too light. So I can go in here. I can change this color very easily. You can see this allows you to adjust. And the nice part is it does it in real time. So as you're making these adjustments, you can kind of see 
what your site's exactly what your site's going to look like. Um, let's change the header. I really don't like that gray color. Uh, so let's get that out of there and make that a little bit different, maybe a little darker. How about that? Okay. So that's how easy it is to come in. Uh, again, you can change all the fonts. You can set the corners from rounded to square or otherwise. And let's uh, look at some of the borders. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of SMBs like these different borders that we have, so we could put some a little bit of stylized border on the site as well. So there we go. So you can see in a very short order, I've been able to construct a, a reasonable looking home page with uh, you know, probably in 10 minutes here, and you put a little bit more time into this, a half an hour or an hour, and you've got your site up and running. Uh, if you want to change your page structure, again, that's very simple. Uh, it's as easy as grabbing any of these pages, moving them up or down, uh, pulling them around, uh, and you can add new pages as simply as adding new pages, and they'll show up right here on the nav. And that's very simple. And then lastly, I'm not going to change those. Uh, the settings page is where we go in advanced and uh, add our uh, our copy to Facebook. So it's as simple as that. When you're ready to publish, you simply hit the Publish button, and what you see here in Web Presence Builder will be published live on the site. makes it very easy for SMBs to very quickly get their websites up and running as a part of your hosting service. Uh, a couple other nice features. It does allow you to save uh, different versions. So if you wanted to create a new version before you go live with it, you can save it as a snapshot. You can also revert back to previous versions. And if you don't like what you've done, you can simply start the whole thing over again or remove the site. So there's good controls around that as well. Okay, I will go back now to hey, well, the... Before uh, you, uh, yeah. Did you just yes. close that or did you... Uh, I did, I, I just oh, no. did, but I can... Uh, so, uh, yeah, so somebody was asking, uh, and I thought it would be useful to... Uh, to do it while we're still in the uh, editor, are you able yeah. to view the code from the site uh, that it produces while you're while you're in here? Um, there's an ability to go in and do scripting, uh, HTML scripting, and then after you publish it, you can view the code. Okay, um, and is there? Uh, I guess the, the question that they had about that. So sorry, so you can't do it from within the editor. You have to do it after you publish. Uh, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, so the the question they. Sorry, the, so the question yeah, they ahead. had had to do with how SEO friendly the code that you produce is. Yeah, so here's you can go in here. Um, I'm sorry that I, sh I didn't show you this, but uh, you can go in here on any of the text blocks, which I just done, and click on HTML, and it'll bring up the pure HTML editor for you mm -hmm. as well. There's also the ability within the settings for you to go in and set the metadata on the site, so you can edit the site metadata to include any additional uh, tags and so on that you want to help drive your SEO as well. Okay, well, I and mean, while we're in here, um, I mean, how does this kind of site look uh, on a mobile site, or do you have functions for that? Ah, yeah, I, I'll actually show some of that in the, uh, in the slides that I'm going to present, but another great feature that is now in Web Presence Builder 11 is that when you publish this site, uh, it is also rendered in a mobile version. So this same site that I'm publishing here today, you can publish to Facebook, and if this site is accessed from a mobile device, uh, it will access the mobile version of the site, which has already been pre-configured by Web Presence Builder. And I'll show you an example of that in some of the slide in the uh, deck that I'm going to uh, finish up with here. But yeah, it's a uh, very, uh, very nice uh, mobile compatible publishing. You don't need to do anything to, uh, to uh, change the site design to have it render on the mobile device. Awesome. Okay, so I'll go back to the deck and I have a few other things I wanted to show there and then we can come back, always come back to the demo if we need to. Okay, so I just wanted to show you some of the uh, hosters today that are using Web Presence Builder and uh, have made it a, a significant part of, of what they're doing. 
Um, Ovali is one of those companies. Ovali is a, a parallels partner and a cl IT cloud services company that focuses on small home uh, and home office uh, customers. It offers websites and emails, hosting, web conferencing, VoIP phone service, and other cloud services. And at Ovali, they've really found that Web Presence Builder is the ideal solution for their customers who want a fast and easy and inexpensive way to get their sites up and running quickly. Some of the key reasons that they point out for that their customers talk about is the ease of use. If you don't know anything about web design, it's really easy for customers to get online quickly. And if you're more advanced, you can customize it to your needs as you learn more about the product. It's also very inexpensive. So if you're a small business and, you don't, and you're just starting out and you don't want to pay a web developer to build you a website and then maintain it every time you have to do changes, with Web Presence Builder, you can build something right away, and you can edit it every day or every hour as you, uh, as you see fit. And that's one of the really nice things about it is you don't have to, once you create it in Web Presence Builder, you don't have to hire somebody to continually update it. Um, you can customize it, you can brand it, and really get your point across without spending a lot of money as an SMB. And lastly, you can log into your site and make your changes from anywhere. So we know how mobile uh, SMBs are today. Um, this is another one of our uh, hosters that uh, uses Web Presence Builder, and uh, they're called Emotion. Emotion is a very large uh, hoster that focuses on business class hosting packages, and you can see here they're including Web Presence Builder as a premium site builder in all their business class hosting packages, and one of the key differentiators here. I talked a little bit about uh, how you can self-brand it. So when I showed the demo, I was showing Parallels logo, obviously, in the upper left-hand corner. But it's really easy for you as a hoster to self-brand the product so the customer sees your logo instead of Parallels logo. And just showing a couple examples of Ovali and another company called Toast.net, which does a really good job marketing Web Presence Builder as well. Um, I talked about the try before buy mode. Um, and I think that's something that uh, all of our hosters that have been successful with Web Presence Builder have uh, been very positive about. It does require you to use the Parallels billing and uh, automation software that comes with Plesk so, uh, because it is tied into the billing. So if you want to use, uh, if you're using Plesk and you want to turn on your Web Presence Builder, the try before buy functionality should work uh, will work great. And what it does is really provide a no obligation way for customers to test drive it by building a sample website. And all the features are turned on when they build that. And uh, makes it real quick for them to get their site up and running. And then once they test the site and they want to publish it, you can automatically upsell them a hosting package and deliver the test site to their account so it'll turn on. So all the work that they put into it, if they like it, then right away you can automatically turn them on with their hosting package and away you go. So a nice way to acquire customers. There was a question about uh, mobile and I made this really simple kind of silly looking site here. It's not a very good looking site but uh, I just built this the other day. But this is what the site would look like in on the internet today and when you uh, publish it in Web Presence Builder and view it on an iPhone there's multiple different ways you can view it. This version that I have here is not showing the uh, actual banner, but uh, I can have it show the banner as well. But you can see that it's taking the site structure, reconfiguring it for the mobile device. And we're continuing to do work on this to make this even better. But uh, today in Web Presence Builder 11, uh, this functionality is available. So you can see that once the site is viewed by the mobile device, it's reconfigured and uh, much easier to view from the mobile. Let me get back to my here. So, in conclusion, uh, Site Builder, Website Builder, is really designed as a fully featured site building solution for SMBs, and we've really focused on making it the optimal solution for hosters. I, I don't really think that there's a better solution out there today that uh, has all the features and is as easy to deploy for a hoster as Parallels Web Presence Builder. It allows you to compete right off the bat with the big guys like One and One who are offering really much simpler site building tools. The, the site building tools from companies like One and One, which are in-house built, don't have 
uh, close to the features and functionality that we put in our product. And it really helps you then differentiate your services. And in doing that, uh, drive you know, more higher value customers and help reduce churn. Once a customer is invested in uh, putting their design into, their website design into Web Presence Builder, obviously they're going to be, they're not just going to switch hosters because someone offers a, a hosting package for 50 cents less a month. So uh, it should help you differentiate your services as well and help lock in those customers. And it's also designed, of course, to be very, very easy to deploy. The shelf integrations with Parallels Plus panel, Parallels Automation, and cPanel. In fact, I'd point out that the Web Presence Builder software is already delivered with Parallels Plus 11. So if you have Parallels Plus 11, you don't need to download any software. You just need to get the key to turn it on, and it's turned on. So um, it is already there in every Plus 11 download package. Um, lastly, before I conclude, I want to uh, make sure everyone is aware about uh, the upcoming Parallel Summit 2013, which is going to be in Las Vegas this year on February 4th through 6th. And Parallel Summit is really where the entire hosting industry ecosystem comes to connect. Um, we do have some early bird pricing. If you register between now and November 30th, uh, you can register for only $99 to attend Parallel Summit. So I just wanted to make you aware of that, and you can go to our website, and uh, there's plenty of banners that will direct you to uh, how to register for Parallel Summit. All right, thank you. That finishes my presentation. Today. Okay, well, I've got a lot of questions here, so I'm going to try to do some things where I uh, try to synthesize some questions from the group, so hopefully I won't... Um, mangle them in the process but uh, okay and I'll do my best to answer them and then <laughs> and then uh, obviously I, w I would also probably like to t let everybody know what my email is sure which I probably should have put on the screen which is Lowell a l o w e l l a at parallels dot com and uh, I'm happy to uh, take questions via email as well but uh, I'll try to answer what I can and what I can't I'll get get our engineers to help me answer Okay, so I guess um, a lot of the questions that we got were around the licensing for the software. Um, uh -huh. I guess if, if there were some questions about, is it a, from the customer's standpoint, is, it, is that a, uh, a one-time fee? Is, and I guess from the hosting standpoint, too, is it a one-time fee? Mm -hmm. Is it per site? Is it per... Yeah, uh, you know? absolutely. So... Um, the Web Presence Builder is licensed based on the total number of sites that you can support with that instance of Web Presence Builder. So for Plesk today, you have the option of licensing 10 sites as part of PowerPack, and I think that total price is $9.99 a month. It comes with a bunch of other things that come in PowerPack. If you just want Web Presence Builder, the initial pricing for the 100 site license for your Plus panel is $9.99 a month. So it's about $0.10 cents a site. And if you buy the 1,000 site pack, that price goes down significantly, down to, I think, 3 or $0.04 cents a site. I think the 1,000 the site pack is, I think, $34 or something like that a month. So... Re Web Presence Builder pricing ends up costing a hoster less than ten cents a month per site uh, cost to your hosting package, and in higher volumes, it's more in the four to five cents of a, a site uh, pricing. For the cPanel, you uh, purchase, you install Web Presence Builder on its own server, and then it integrates using a plug-in into all of your individual cPanel servers. The pricing for cPanel starts at 100 sites, and again, it's the $9.99, very low price. Or I actually think the cPanel is $14.99 to start out with. Um, so again, it's you know, $0.14 cents a site cost to your hosting package, uh, and then drops from there down to you know, less than the $0.10 cents a site kind of range. So it's really designed uh, to allow you to start with a very uh, low-cost license, uh, 100 site minimum, uh, that only costs you in plus, and within plus nine nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, 
and then allow you to, to slowly ramp that up as you want to increase the number of sites that you're supporting with Web Presence Builder. Okay? Okay, so uh, somebody's asking for a little clarification on that. Uh, with with the cPanel setup, is that a per month or, uh, price or is that an outright license? Uh, the cPanel price is per month price, yes. Everything that we do is, I'm sorry, I need to give you the correct email. <laughs> I'm sorry, everything that we do is via a, a lease license price. So uh, it is a per month price for Web Presence Builder. That's correct. Okay, so uh, also... Uh, do I have you there? Yep. Yes. So somebody, uh, or Adam, uh, wanted to point out that when you, when you mentioned uh, uh, CBM, that it is an add-on to Plesk, and it could be uh, included in a pack, or it could be uh, acquired as a standalone. That is correct. Yep. Okay. So I guess, as far as the billing is concerned, can you can you talk about... I guess the, the the free trial aspect of the free trial experience for customers um, does mm -hmm. that does that uh, is that sort of a billing setup and does it work with uh, you know PBA and, and other it uh, it only works when you're using CBM because it's tied into your billing system so uh, if you are a Plus coaster and you are using our Plus billing system which is called CBM then you can enable the try before buy functionality. The try before buy functionality is configurable by the hoster. So how many days do you want that to be free? The hoster can set that themselves. Uh, that is not set by parallel. So you can go ahead and allow it for 15 days or 30 days, uh, however long you'd like them to enable that free hosting until you either you know, shut off their try before buy or, uh, or, uh, or convert them to a hosting package. Now, one of the things that we are offering uh, in our next revision of Parallels Web Presence Builder is something we're calling freemium sites. And freemium sites will allow the hoster to offer uh, a free hosting solution and then limit it by either by page count or by feature set. So uh, this isn't available today, but it will be available uh, roughly in the end of Q1 next year. And that will allow you to offer uh, a version, uh, a hosted website, and limit the page count. So you could set the page count at three or four or five web pages and allow that to, uh, to be a free hosting package. Then if the customer wants to upgrade to a uh, beyond five, five pages on their site, you could then start to charge them for the hosting package as well. So we're adding another option for you to uh, use Web Presence Builder as a way to uh, offer very inexpensive or low-cost hosting packages, even free hosting packages, and then upgrade those customers as they want to expand their usage. Okay, so I, I keep getting follow-up questions about uh, whether, um, <laughs> sorry, you know, whether the, the, the try before buy mode mm -hmm. will work with POA and PBA. It, it does not. No, it does not. Okay. Um, sorry, I, I just want to let everyone know that we're getting a, a quite a few questions here, so if I miss your question, I promise you that we do have a record of all the questions and who asked them, and I'm sure Lowell will <laughs> spend all the time going through uh, Absolutely, okay. absolutely. So you will hear back about this if you don't get your question answered during the webinar. Um, so somebody asked, and I'm going to go away a little bit from the, the trial and the actual billing of things for now. Um, somebody asked whether the... Uh, whether you're planning to introduce new functions and whether you have a roadmap available for Web Presence Builder? Yeah, we do have a roadmap. Um, of course, we'll be presenting that at Parallel Summit. Uh, we are working on getting that uh, ready to publish publicly, and I'll probably have that available in the next, oh, couple weeks or so. I can tell you a, uh, probably the two main functions that will be on the next release, which is scheduled for late Q1 or early Q2 of next year is the capability of adding the freemium site, so being able to offer sites but limiting the page count and or the feature set. Uh, and then the second main feature that we're working on is something we call business sites. And the idea behind business sites is to allow you to present to the customer as part of your hosting package the Web Presence Builder uh, Start Now screen right on the, on the center of your website. So 
very similar to some of these freemium services that are offered by companies like Yola and, and uh, Weebly that allow customers to simply type in their email and start building their site without having to go through a panel. We're going to implement that same functionality in Web Presence Builder so that you can offer uh, on the front of your site the ability for a customer to uh, go immediately from your site directly into Web Presence Builder without having to go through the hosting panel experience. And uh, we think this will also uh, help you uh, services that, uh, that make it very easy for customers to start their own website development. So those two features will be in the next release. That's going to be, as I said, end of Q1 or beginning of Q2. And we'll get a published roadmap out, certainly by Parallel Summit, uh, and uh, I'll work to try to have that available before then. Okay. Um, somebody had asked earlier, um, you were just, just sort of demonstrating the, the integration with um, Equid, and they had asked uh -huh. if, um, well, I have two questions about that, actually. One person asked if there is a possibility of integration with ePages at some point. Um, not as we don't have that as a standard module, although we are constantly adding new modules. So uh, I won't rule that out, but I don't believe that's in our roadmap right now to add uh, an additional online store. But uh, we could certainly, uh, you know, take that under consideration. But we don't have that in our roadmap today. And are there opportunities for companies like, let's use ePages as the example, to, you know, write their own? Uh, uh, integration? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, it, it's quite simple actually for you to create scripts. If you have a, uh, we, uh, a widget that you would like to integrate into Web Presence Builder, there is a scripting module. Uh, maybe I can go right back to the demo here. And uh, one of the modules that you see here uh, is called scripting. And so if you have, if I can find it here, scripting module. You can drag that in, and it will allow you to insert JavaScript and pop up any widget uh, will then pop up on your screen. And there's uh, uh, lots of different web widgets that you can simply add. Of course, this requires some JavaScripting capability, or at least the ability to cut and paste JavaScript for particular widgets. So if you have other widgets that you'd like to offer, uh, you can make those scripts available. and uh, allow your customers to simply paste those scripts into Web Presence Builder as they're building their sites. Okay. So in the case of Equid and in the case of, let's say, other things that you include via that scripting, um, uh, mm -hmm. you mentioned that Equid charges, you know, the, the, the customer of the website, uh, the customer using the website builder to uh, set up a shopping cart. Um, is there an opportunity for a revenue share there with the host between the host and Equid? Um, I don't believe at this time that uh, Equid does a revenue share with the host uh, at this point. Um, we have been in discussions with them, but we do not have that relationship set up today. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's see. Sorry. Uh, somebody asked how, I guess, some of the images you've got in there, how do you handle the licensing for those images? Okay, so these licenses have all been uh, purchased uh, through a distribution license by Parallels. So these licenses are uh, fully available for mass distribution, and there is no licensing requirement from the host or from the customer to use any of the images that are in our image gallery which is roughly about 1,000 or 400, roughly about 400 images that we have licensed for uh, public distribution. So there is no licensing uh, requir restrictions or requirements for the hoster or the end customer on, license, on images that they use uh, that are part of the Web Presence Builder image library. Um, of course, once you publish this, the, the customer can load their own images in and then they're, they're, of course, responsible for the images they publish on their website. Okay. So, 
sorry, when you were describing the, the mobile site, you were sort of showing the, the uh, slide, mm -hmm. yeah, the, the image of yeah. the, the mobile site that's created. Is that automatically created once the site is published? Uh, yeah, the... it's yeah, absolutely. It's part of the publishing. So when I click on the publish button, the site is published. Now when that site is viewed via an internet browser, it's going to look like, like this, this site here. If it's viewed via a mobile, then it will be rendered in that mobile uh, in that mobile view. There's no extra steps in order to achieve that that mobile optimized view. Okay, so somebody asked where um, where the HTML files are saved on the server. Yeah, so if you have, uh, so this is the way uh, web, uh, web Presence Builder works is that Web Presence Builder saves the uh, saves the uh, the site configurations on your server and then publishes them to the hosting server. So if you have a, let's say you had a, a cPanel installation, or standalone installation with Web Presence Builder uh, installed on it, customers are logging into that Web Presence Builder, creating their site configurations, and those site configurations are stored on that Web Presence Builder server. When I hit publish, the sites are actually published to the hosting server and served from the hosting server so that Web Presence Builder server doesn't become uh, bogged down as the hosting server. Um, that you know, help allows you, allows us to uh, have that Web Presence Builder support up to 50,000 uh, different site designs on a single server without negatively impacting performance. Um, if it's on Plesk, then uh, on, on a Plesk server, the Plesk panel is limited to a thousand sites, and those images are stored on the Plesk server and hosted from the and published again to the hosting server. Okay, great. So, um, is somebody, uh, sorry, somebody's asking if you're able to uh, edit specifically how the mobile site looks? Uh... No, not at this time. Not at this time. Now, we're doing more work with that as well to help create a mobile view right here in the editor so you can see that and make adjustments accordingly. But we don't, but uh, we just have the self-published today. And somebody's asking, <laughs> sorry, somebody's asking if you can uh, set it so that it won't show the mobile view. That I don't know, actually. Um, I will have to uh, follow up on that. Okay. And I don't know the answer to that. And then uh, there's a few more um, uh, r really specific questions about how it relates to mobile devices. I I'll say um, um, we, we will ask them. Oh, sorry, I, I think I'll let you answer them directly. I think we're, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm trying to find if there's a, any more questions that we can ask here? Uh, so somebody was asking, sorry, when you had said that uh, it doesn't work with PBA and, and POA, do you have it plans does. to have it eventually eventually work with that? Or? Um, yeah, so we're, we're working to standardize on a, a common a billing module that uh, could be used by POA and PBA. Uh, I don't have a, a timeline for that or quite, uh, you know, a customer-facing commitment to that. So. Um, I'll have to uh, get that and include that in the roadmap discussion as well. Okay, and somebody's asking if the if the cPanel version, uh, if the shopping cart function works differently with the cPanel version. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, the shopping cart function works works the same. Uh, the cPanel version is effectively uh, the web presence builder installed on a standalone server. And then with CPan on your cPanel servers, you install a plugin, which we deliver to you. That plugin allows the cPanel server to communicate to the Web Presence Builder server. And then in your cPanel admin panel, Web Presence Builder will appear as an available uh, feature that you can add to your hosting plan. And if you add that to the hosting plan, then on the customer-facing uh, cPanel screen, they will see an icon for Web Presence Builder where they can launch the service, and it operates identical to uh, the Web Presence Builder that I just demonstrated. 
there's no difference between the standalone product, the PA product, or the uh, cPanel product. It's just the way that it's just the integration mechanism. Okay. Um, I, I'm, I again, I apologize if I missed anybody's questions. I know we had a we, we had a ton come in here, and I tried to get to all of them, but I was, there, there was a lot of uh, repetition or, or similarities, and so I was trying to combine some of them. If, if I did miss anybody's question, hopefully, uh, you know, they can uh, follow up with you. You've got your email on Absolutely. screen. Absolutely. got the... Yeah, and I know I wasn't able to answer some of the questions, so, you know, please follow up, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try to get those answers for you, and, uh, and we'll, we'll try to get those followed up for you. Great. Uh, so... I guess that's about it uh, for time that we have today. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for attending and for submitting their, their questions. Uh, of course, I'd like to thank Lowell for uh, offering up some pretty, uh, pretty interesting look into a you know product that you know, presents a pretty uh, interesting opportunity for hosts and an interesting opportunity for their customers. Um, thank you guys very much for submitting so many questions. It was really great. Everyone was really engaged. Uh, hopefully. Uh, this answered some of your questions, and uh, hopefully we'll get all those questions answered. Uh, thanks again. And, oh, and, and let me just remind you before we go that uh, for those of you who'd like to revisit it, there will be a uh, uh, an archive online at theword.com slash webinars uh, later this week. Thank you very much, and have a great day.